Do you want to become a better software engineer? Do you want your projects to be easier to maintain, follow good programming practices? Do you want to be able to quickly understand a complex code base when joining a new company? Do you want to work efficiently with other engineers of the same or different specialties, designers and product managers? Do you want to gain knowledge and skills necessary to pass coding interviews in big tech companies like Google, Facebook or Microsoft? If you answered yes, to any of those questions, this video just might be for you. Hello coders, this is Caro, and I'm a software engineer with about 10 years of professional experience, both freelancing and working in big tech and rapidly growing startups. If you're new to this channel and want to grow your career as a software engineer, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. Let's get to it. In this video, I will present you five books that in my opinion can help you become a better software engineer or achieve any of the goals I mentioned at the beginning. The books are technology independent, which means it doesn't matter if you are front-end, back-end, data, mobile, or anything else engineer, you will find value here. The first four books come in an order from the least experience required to the most experience required. The fifth book is a bonus, as I don't think it in itself will make you a better engineer, but it will help you get opportunities and exposure to situations that will put you in a position of learning. If you are interested in books about leadership and taking a career path of engineering manager and eventually a CTO, stay tuned for next week's video where I will have three book recommendations for you talking about exactly that. Book number one. Clean Code by Robert C. Martin. If you are fresh out of uni or about to get your first job, the chances you haven't yet worked in a code base shared between multiple people for a long period of time. Working with others brings a whole new level of challenges to your software engineering career. Clean Code talks about those challenges and how to walk through them by writing a well-structured, easily understandable and maintainable code. From things as simple as naming your variables through when and how to use comments and how to avoid using them, to class organization and app architecture, good practices on each level of software abstractions, including some design patterns and concurrency. This book is a must read if you want to produce a high quality code. It will help you develop good standards of how tech code should be written. It will allow you to save time by writing reusable code and not having to guess what your old code was supposed to do. It will also make code peer reviews easier for both you and the reviewer, as your code will just be self-explanatory. You can find links to paperback and Kindle and audiobook versions of this and other books I mentioned in this video in the description below. Those are affiliate links, which means when you buy those books using my links, small percentage of the sale will go to me without any additional cost for you. This helps the channel a lot, so if you want to show some support and you are planning to buy those books anyway, please use the links from the description. Book number two, Design Patterns, by Eric Gamma and Richard Helm and others. Clean code mentions some design patterns. What is a design pattern, you ask? Design pattern is a kind of a template for a common software engineering problem. It's a description of how to structure your code to achieve the result you want in a clean, proven way. It's important to know the most popular design patterns so you do not train them the wheel. You can save time by applying those proven solutions and your teammates will also understand what you're doing, assuming they are familiar with the given pattern. Or you can just simply point them to a wiki page about it instead of uh, having to argue how your solution works and why it is correct. When joining a new company, I guarantee you, you will find a lot of design patterns being used and being able to spot them will save you time and get you from the onboarding process to delivering value much faster. By using design patterns, you will be able to avoid some unexpected bugs and issues as being resistant to them is often hardwired into the pattern itself. Book number three, Clean Coder by Robert C. Martin. I know it sounds almost the same as the first book and yes, it's written by the same author. However, this book focuses on the other set of challenges that come from working in a team, communication, collaboration and leadership. Those are areas we often neglect as software engineers, but they are crucial if you want to become a professional or continue on the path of an engineering manager. Clean Coder focuses on you, not your code. It 
teaches you how to communicate with teammates and stakeholders, other engineers or other professions like product managers or designers. It talks about taking responsibility, estimating, saying yes, saying no, time management, collaboration, mentoring and working in a team and around the project. What I liked about this book were the actual conversation examples. The same conversation was repeated a couple of times using different communication methods and different outcomes were presented based on that. For me, being both not great at communication and not a native speaker, this book helped greatly and actually helped me be happier at work as I was able to state my boundaries and expectations as well as my progress and my blockers. Book number four, How Many Leaks or How to Estimate Damn Near Anything by Aaron Santos. One part of communication, especially with product managers or other business stakeholders, is estimations. As you progress in your career and take on more and more responsibility, there are also more expectations towards you. One of them is that you will be able to estimate when a given project or feature will be ready. How many engineers do you need in your team to deliver it before a given date? What trade-offs you can make to deliver faster? What are the risks that might jeopardize sticking to the deadline? How many leaks is not about managing and estimating a software project, but it gives you methods and tools to estimate damn near anything. <laughs> it will also be helpful if you are planning a freelance career, as clients also request estimations and often they put their own private money into whatever it is you are developing for them. This book is very short, easy and fun to read, and I find it useful for both my engineering career and my everyday life. The thing I used it for most recently was to estimate how how long it would take me to earn the same money from YouTube as I do from my everyday job. Uh, my estimations say around 14 months, which is not bad at all. Book number five, Cracking the Coding Interview by Gail Luckman McDowell. I hope I read that right, as well as the other names in this video. Initially, I didn't mean to include this book here. I actually wanted to recommend Algorithms plus Data Structures equals Programs by Nicholas Worth. Worth? With. <laughs> Algorithms and data structures are fundamental in your software engineering career. They are tools that you will use every day and knowing your tools is extremely important. However, after checking availability of this book, I realized I simply cannot recommend this to you. This book is old, only available as a hardcover and very expensive. I don't want to just pick a random algorithmics and data structures book I haven't read. Uh, so instead I'm recommending you this. Cracking the Coding Interview. This book helped me score my internship at Microsoft and Google. It showed me how to use the algorithms I learned at uni to solve problems usually presented at coding interviews at big companies um, or in programming competitions. It explains the algorithms and their applications to you. So if you learn best by example, this just might be the book for you. So don't click off this video yet. I have one final piece of advice for you. Okay, so those are my top five books to read if you want to become a better, more professional software engineer. No matter if you work or want to work in big tech, startup, freelance, or if you still study, I've read them all at different stages in my career. And one thing I wish I'd done differently is to read them earlier. Also remember, books on their own are not worth much. It's the practice you put after reading them that matters. So try to apply everything you learn as soon as you learn it. You will remember it longer and you'll be able to spot chances to use it easier in the future. Write things down if that helps. Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing, man? If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed yet, consider clicking that big red button and the notification bell. Next week, we'll talk about books worth reading if you are interested in leadership and management positions, or if you want to understand what that even means in case of software engineers. Let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite book about software engineering? I'm always happy to read some more, so any recommendations are welcome. See you next week.